Hello and welcome to Dragon Age Origins, the faithful substitute for Bioshock Infinite. I've run some tests and apparently this thing actually likes being recorded. Great. Now I've had this on my Steam account. This is Dragon Age Ultimate uh, Edition. Uh, there you go. I have literally everything. Let me just show you this. There you go. I have literally everything. Bought for 22 euros. Fucking fantastic. Now, I don't remember playing this on my laptop. So, I'm just going to go check the options to see how it is. Okay, this difficulty. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go nightmare. She'll plot helpers in all areas because I'm lazy as hell. Nope. Score. Yes. Pause at the start of combat. Yes. Save automatically. Yes. Yes. Tutorials. No, I don't. I don't need it. Floating spell count names. Yes. Show damage. Show damage to party. Conversations and ambient dialogues. Okay. Controls. Uh, it's yeah. I think it's pretty fine. Yeah, it's fine. Mouse, mouse sensitivity. Audio. Audio doesn't really matter. I can just there you go. Headphone use. Okay. Okay, oh, oh, never mind. Whatever. Uh, video, online, upload gameplay feedback. What? Oh, whatever. No one really cares anymore. Resolution. That's the maximum I can get. 366, 7, okay, there we go. 50, there we go. Graphics detail high, anti-aliasing. You know, I think my laptop can handle it. I really think my laptop can handle it. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything is actually fine. I just have to change a bit in the game settings. Now, this is the best RPG I have ever played in my life. I am not kidding here. Bioshock, great. But this, despite... First of all, this is vastly different than uh, Bioshock Infinite. This is a pure RPG, pure fantasy RPG, and I just freaking love it. So let's just start a new game. I just want you to see it because this is fucking amazing. And I think they actually managed to figure out the memory leak in the deep roads, I think. This thing is fully updated. I think they fixed the memory leak. In fact, I hope they did. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, pretty fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. The Counting of Trinities, 813. There is so much attention to detail in this game. So much backstory, so much lore, so much fluff. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of just men which just hear this. the dark spawn into our world. The mages Turn up your volume! Usurp Turn it up now! But instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dark spawn. I just have to add that the soundtrack to this game is fan fucking tastic. Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, this is how the, the game looks like. Drove at us again it's pretty damn good. Again, until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. Oh, 
Oh, I missed this. Boom, bitch. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late. This is Duncan, seen with badass extraordinaire. What lies on the horizon? He's also the mentor, so you know what that means. Maker, help us all. So, I just have to say, the plot is pretty damn straightforward. There's shit metric tons of backstory and lore, but the plot itself is actually pretty straightforward. Okay. Now, this, this is a nifty little system. Depending on what race you pick and what class you pick, you get different background stories regarding where you came from. And you will understand why that is. Now, gender, male. Now, I'm gonna go for a mage, so let me just... I forget. I'm gonna go for a mage, so elf, obviously, because plus two willpower, plus two magic. Um, I like to optimize for maximum destruction, and I'm a little bit of a munchkin. So there you go. Now. Doesn't really matter if you're a human elf, human mage, or an elf mage. You get the mage, the same magi story, and you'll understand why. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that okay. Just uh, there you go. You can pause the video here, you know, to read this, and then you can pause the video here to read that, and you can pause the video. Wait, there you go. And you can pause the video here to read that. Okay, now, I'm gonna go for mage because this game pretty much obeys the. Uh, Linear Warriors, Quadratic Wizards trope to the max. Wizards become unstoppable if played right. And and having me as a mage allows me to multi-roll and give the party a more traditional feel. Instead of having to rely on an AI to, uh, you know, be the mage. And a healer. I like being the healer myself. Greetings. Okay. Let's just, um... Keep... Let's just, you know, choose a bit. You know what, I don't really give a shit about this, so... There you go. That's green, I don't like it. Feels unnatural. That too. You know what, fuck it. Let's just change the hair. I, 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 I'm not really one, one for, um... I don't like... I'm sure you remember from Skyrim, or if not, I'll just tell you now. I really don't like fiddling with this. I end up making my characters terrifying. Ooh, I like this hair. Where's the black option? There we go. Eyebrows. Big bushy eyebrows. Where's the big bushy eyebrows? I could make myself an observer, but no, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, it's, that, that, that's fine, that's fine. Eyebrow color. Let's make it match. There we go. Portrait. This is pretty nifty because this is a portrait portrait you get uh, in the actual game, and you can actually see you can uh, modify how you look. There you go. Background. There you go. Huh? <laughs> Derp. <laughs> super serious, super derpy. There you go. Sort of smug, sort of not. Ah, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Perfect. Quick, nice thing is, is uh, you can't change the surname. You can't change the first name. So you just can put that Tully Serana. Oh God damn it, Tully Serana. Yo. Uh, quick play just gives you a preset number of skills and stuff. But I like to customize, so let's go. Strength. When you're going for a mage, you just need two things. Willpower and magic. So there you go. This is pretty much standard. Strength increases your, uh, you know, 
raw power. Dexterity is more for daggers and bows. Willpower gives you mana, and in the case of warriors and rogues, stamina. Magic is for raw destructive power. Cunning influences stuff like, um, how can I say this? You know, out of combat skills and stuff like that. You know, and some modifiers for the rogues. And constitution is pretty much just health. Check this out! Seriously! I mean, Jesus! This is not, this is pretty good. You know what, I'm just gonna go with, um, coercion. I'm not gonna put points in cunning, so I can't. If you have master coercion, you can pretty much do anything you want. I'm just gonna put this one just in case. I also get herbalism, but I never use it. Okay, mages have, in the beginning, as you have four, uh, you know, what do you call it? Four trees: the primal tree, the creation tree, the spirit tree, and the entropy. Entropy is more for debuffs. Uh, you have curses. You have curses here. You have debilitations. You have uh, crowd control, and here you have the damaging stuff. Spirit is more for support, except this one. This is my favorite spell. This essentially burns mana in every mage round and uh, proportion does proportional damage. If you hit this on someone high level, they pretty much die. Creation is buffs and healing, and primal is pretty much just destruction and raw power. Let's just go with the uh, flame blast. This is an activated buff, so you sacrifice a portion of your maximum mana to keep this. It's pretty damn useful, especially against Dark Spawn. And I'm just going to put heal just in case. Nightmare, that's good. Let's play. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste. Okay, they're pretty much stone faced. The facial expressions aren't much to speak about, but the voice acting is my god amazing. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use also, everyone's British. the gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade. And there you will face a demon armed. Also, Irving, the your... Grand Mage, that's the best badass beard I've ever seen. A slight explanation in this world, mages are treated with equal parts fear and respect. Actually, no. 90% 90, 90 fear, 10% respect, but only because of the power they wield. Mages are treated as extremely dangerous and prone to corruption everywhere. Some people will literally shit their pants the second they see a mage. And that's why the Chantry, the uh, sort of omnipresent uh, religion in the game, keeps a very tight control of mages and lyrium, which is a magical substance. Now, that's pretty much where you get locked up in the tower. And under, ex except under extreme circumstances, you're not allowed to leave. Ever. And the Chantry has more than enough power to purge the tower if everyone shows signs of corruption. In every country in this fantasy world has a circle of magi. And in every country in the world, the Chantry has the power to purge the circle should they feel it's necessary. This plays a pretty big role in Dragon Age 2, which we'll see if we'll play. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now, it, it is, Dragon Age 2 is voice acted uh, for your own responses. Um, this one isn't, but you do get to read out loud and pretend you're reading. I don't know. 
So, uh, I'm on your will. Uh, I am ready, good sir. Know this, apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. Oh, yes, they will. Do this not, do not be believe that, really. The very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You just give me some pointers, come on. Okay, there isn't a single fucking scabbard in this game, but I have to say, clothing and armor is pretty much well done. I've seen a lot of games that went completely overboard. This doesn't. This just keeps it simplistic and realistic. Whoa, I don't know if you can hear me, but I think this game is, deserves to have its sound just pumped up. Now keep in mind, in the Fade, nothing really makes sense. At all. Also, the... Oh, God damn it! The Codex. This is your journal. You get current quests, completed quests, conversation history, as you can see. I never really see... Look at this because, you know, I'm listening. Downloadable content. I have everything because I bought the goddamn Ultimate Edition. And the Codex. Uh, controls that's, uh, controls, so fuck it. Uh, this pretty much gives you information on everything. Everything. Lore, background, quests, controls, spell combinations, which you have 10 only, but my god, they're fantastic. But let's just read a bit. Magic and religion. The harrowing. Among apprentices, among apprentices of the circle, nothing is regarded with more fear than the harrowing. Yada yada yada. Little is known about this rite of passage, and that alone will be cause for dread. Yada yada yada. It is often understood that only those apprentices who pass this trial are ever seen again. They return as full members of the circle of magi. Of those who fail, nothing is known. They die. Perhaps they're sent away in disgrace. No. Perhaps they're killed in a spot. Yes. I heard one patently ridiculous rumor among the circle of vain. Ravain is in fact a country here, which claimed that filled apprentices were transformed into pigs, fattened up, and served at dinner to the senior enchanters. I can't see the Ravaini doing that, but I can find no evidence that the Ravaini circle ate any particular quantity of pork. Now, keep in mind, Burnage, Brother Genitivi writes, writes a lot of the Codex, especially from the book In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Champion Scholar. He writes a lot of it. Notes. Uh, feast day gifts. Oh, this is, oh, never mind, this is just a uh, thingy. Characters. Knight Commander Gregor. This is just a quote. Where's the of Irving? This is also just a quote. Okay, now. This is a realm of demons and spirits. Spirits are good, demons are bad. Duh. And pretty much the only, the only constant here is your own will. You can pretty much, if you're powerful enough, you can pretty much just mold the fade to however the hell you uh, want. I just clicked F. I don't want to click F. How do you lock this? Oh, right, there you go. Uh, vase of healing. What does this do? Blood dragon. Oh, right, this is the blood dragon armor. <laughs> never mind. Also, oh, you get 70 items. Which is, you'll never get. You'll never get this full. Seriously, trust me. It's difficult to be sure what this scintillating, shimmering item really is, but just old game makes you feel better. Okay, never mind. Let me put, put this here. There we go. Basic spells. Arcane Bolt. Oh, this is targeted only. Never mind. I can show you this. Oh! Okay, combat here is is pretty simple. You go into combat, and the game, there's an option as I chose. The game automatically pauses and allows you to plan all out your movements. Um, zoom out, top down view, uh, pick all the targets, and then choose what to do. Now, you're going to pick up the Wisp Wraith and use number one, the Arcane Bolt. Okay, this is a bit too loud. Okay, 655. 655. Ah, uh, goddammit. I'm never going to get this right, am I? Oh, my OCD. 
Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Dialogue volume. There you go. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Zoom game. Wait for the cooldown. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, this doesn't really have dodge movements. Except as a, a skill that the rogue hat gets. So, the dialogue isn't voice acted, but um, certain moments out of combat or in combat actually are. Wisps. I feel like I should. I feel like I should read this. A great deal is made of the most powerful demons, those that create abominations, and those that have changed the history of Thetis. Thetis is the world, which stands for the Dragon Age set. Um, an abomination is what happens when a, a demon uh, corrupts, possesses a mage, and we'll see it later on. It is forgotten that not all demons are such awe-inspiring beings. Some that break through the cracks in the veil into our world is known as wisps, a sliver of thought that once was. A wisp is a demon that's lost its power. Either it has existed in our world for too long without finding a true host, like a mage, or it has been destroyed, often so you found by other demons. But remains of its mind cling slightly to one constant that created it, a hatred to all living things. That pretty much sums up all demons. While its ability to target a living creature is limited, these wisps often mindlessly attack when encountered in the Fade. In the living world, they often have been known to maliciously lure the living into dangerous areas, being mistaken for lanterns or other civilized light sources. This does, however, seem to be the very limit of their cunning. Ta-da! Will of the Wisp. In the journal of former senior enchanter, Ma Enchanter Malleus, once in the Circle of Ravain, declared apostate in 920 Dragon Age. An apostate is not how it's used in, uh, isn't used here like it is uh, in real life. An apostate is a mage that escapes his circle, you know, without authorization. Okay, paused. Choose it. Arcane Bolt. Let's see if I can, um... Show you the. Uh, oh, God damn it. Stop running. Stop running. Okay. Pause and flame blast. There we go. I do have to say, this game is really well optimized. Uh, this is a laptop, and it's pretty good, but it's not really built for gaming purposes. And yet, I have this thing on really high definition, really high graphics detail, and I can still record this with minimal frame rate. In fact, this is really great frame rate. This is incredibly well optimized. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. You're a talking rat. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. He actually does know something because you can pretty much turn into anything if you just have the right amount of willpower. Allow me to in the fade, obviously. You can call me, well, Mouse. Not your real name, I take it. No, I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long. You see, they figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. What I'd like to know is why you're, why you're wearing Senior Enchanter Rose. And never mind. Uh, how long do I have exactly, Mr. Mouse? I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. And what am I supposed to do? There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you, you have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. I said, I don't get, why is this so feared? You would be All I did was kill wisps. Attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. And all you know. Oh, and that. Others never mind. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. And I take it you're going to follow me now? Yep, the yes you are. The spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. As you can see, this is the arena. Also, the slight distortion you're seeing is not the recording going bonkers. The fade is really just like this. 
Oh, look, a whispering. Hello, sir. Arcade bolt. Don't worry, I'll get a staff eventually. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, did you resist it? Oh, come on. There you go. Problem solved. I'm on. Also, lightning, it doesn't do now, but um, lightning damage actually damages your stamina and or mana. Come on. Okay, sir, who are you? The spirit? Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. The spirit of Vala. Hello? Oh, it's right click. Never mind. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Hello. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Now, slight thingy here. Spirits are good. Spirits are good, but not nice. As in, they won't. They don't really care about you. It's like demons actively try to. Possess you. Spirits just don't give a shit. Uh, do you know why I'm here, sir? You are not the first sent here for such testing. Nor shall you be the last, I suspect. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Well, I need your help, sir. Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. Oh, this is going to be a long conversation, isn't it? I am not it? here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Well, will one of these weapons affect the demon, good sir? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Oh, hell no! Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Oh, keep in mind when you see this is kind of like Fallout. When you have enough of a skill to unlock a special option, use it because it unlocks, you know, as it leads to a, I would say, better alternative of dialogue. It seems you prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Then prove it. Help me fight the demon. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Pwned. Uh -huh. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. There we go. Items received. What did I get? A val Valor Staff. This allows me to auto attack um, when I'm not just using spells. St staves don't do as much damage as swords, but they do get some nifty effects uh, like uh, poison or burn or slow, and they never ever miss. Seriously, they never ever miss. Snap projectile, arcane bolt. There we go. Now, I need to end the video here. This wasn't me forgetting to stop the video. I'm trying out a new format, 30 minute videos, because XSplit records files in a much, much smaller size. And as such, uh, I'm just going to see how long it takes to upload. I mean, I can upload 20 minute days, I had videos in, I don't know, less than two hours now. And it's much less optimized than this, and the files are pretty bulky. So I just want to see if I can uh, do half an hour videos. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.